Hey guys, in this episode I'll be showing you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch or iPhone on 2.0 software. Right now I'm on 1.1.4 and if you don't know how to downgrade to 1.1.4 you can go ahead and watch. Um, just go to my channel, click the video to how to downgrade to 1.1.4 from 2.0. So now I'm just going to go ahead and do a straight upgrade to 2.0. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So let's get started. Okay, so uh, for this process, you'll need to go on your computer. And uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm just uh, installing the newest version of Winpone 2.0.0.3 as of uh, July 27th. And um, uh, basically what you want to do is first just go to your internet browser, type in Winpone in Google, and uh, go ahead and download and install it. Make sure you uninstall any previous versions before you install this version. Uh, or else it will not work correctly. So I'm just going to hit finish here, uh, read through all this, and close it. And you should see a new icon on your desktop right there. Winpone. So make sure your iPod is connected. I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so I've just connected. <clears throat> okay, so I've just connected my iPod, and I'm waiting for iTunes to uh, load up. And by the way, um, it's iTunes 7.7. .7. Make sure it's 7.7, .7, not 7.5. Okay, so iTunes has just popped up. And hit and close iTunes. And uh, we're going to start Winpone. Okay, so now once Winpone is open, we're going to go ahead and hit Browse IPSW. And we're going to browse to the um, iPod 2.0 firmware, which I have already downloaded. Let's see, where did I put that? There we are. Make sure it's 5, make sure the firmware is 5, a 3, 4, 7, not 3, 4, 5. It won't work with 3, 4, 5, only uh, 3, 4, 7. So, um, you can go ahead and download it in the link in the sidebar I've provided for you, and... I uh, hope it works. Okay, so it's recognized the firmware. Now, what you want to do first, instead of hitting iPhone first like you would in the earlier versions, you would want to hit IPSW Builder first and make sure you use iTunes is checked. We're going to go ahead and check install Cydia. Um, if you have an iPhone, you should go ahead and check that box. If iPod Touch, uh, not that, not really. And uh, you, you go ahead and choose any custom pictures you want. I'm just going to search online for a nice one. See, there's a lot of nice ones here. I think I'll just choose uh, this one. This one looks pretty nice. Double click to download. Oops. Guess we can't use that one. Uh, this one. Oh, there we go. That one works. Okay, so um, custom payload doesn't have anything right now. So uh, right, you. Um, <clears throat> so when everything looks good to you, just go ahead and hit build IPSW. Choose where to save it. I'm just gonna choose to save it on my desktop here. Let it run. Oh, and uh, as a side note, I recommend you do not touch your computer while this process is running, as it can actually. Uh, uh, interrupt it. So I just recommend you uh, leave it alone and uh, wait until the uh, green bar fills up. So that's another th note. Thanks. Okay, so it has finished creating the IPSW file and uh, we're just going to go ahead and hit OK. Now don't exit out of WinPone yet. What you want to do is you want to pwn iTunes. So basically in iTunes 7.7, .7, the Apple patched the uh, older versions of WinPone so you can't use custom IPSWs, but now, just uh, once you hit the iPoner button, that will undo that patch. So we're just going to go to iPoner, hit that button, and now we're just going to choose the uh, one we just made, which I made on my desktop. There it is. Hit open. And uh, you'll see a um, dialog box pop up after a while. It says, your iTunes has been pwned. Okay, so we're just going to hit OK on that. Close Winpone, and now, and now you can go ahead and open iTunes, make sure iPod is connected, 
Now we're gonna pwn your iPod again times 2.0. Okay, so first, before you pwn your iPod, first make sure it's in DFU mode. To do that, go ahead and make sure it's connected. Turn it off. Just slide close. And now, uh, wait for it to completely shut down. Once it's completely shut down, you're going to need to hold the home button and the power button at the same time for 10 seconds, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let go. Now wait another 10 seconds while holding the home button. Keep on holding the home button, but let go of the power button. And, uh... You should hear a beeping sound from your computer. There we go. Your iPod is now in DFU mode. And the screen will not turn on. I repeat, the screen will not turn on. It will remain black. But iTunes will detect your iPod. So um, let's go back to iTunes. Okay, so once uh, iTunes has detected your iPod in D DFU mode, we're going to go ahead and uh, just shift-click restore it to the iPod uh, IPSW file you just made using WinPotent. So we're going to do shift Hold the shift key, hit res click restore. And now, since I put it on my desktop, let's go to my desktop. There it is. Just hit open. And iTunes will extract the IPSW and apply it to your iPod Touch or iPhone. And um, that's pretty much it. Once you restart your iPod or iPhone, you'll see the new 2.0 software with Cydia installed. And if you don't know what Cydia is, Cydia is sort of like installer, except it uses um, open API, and uh, it doesn't have support for sources. It actually uses a different sort of sources. Um, you can make one through uh, Cydia Solrix's website. It has limited packages right now. There's only a few uh, graphical ones. The rest are just uh, for developmental uses. So, um, yeah. And... Uh, I'll get back to you once this is done restoring. <clears throat> okay, so my iPod has been successfully restored. If you get an error message, just go ahead, go back to Winpot and hit the iPoner button again, and uh, it should work. So I'm just going to make sure. So I'm just going to set up a new iPod right now. And let's take a look at our new pwned iPod. I'm going to cancel the sync right now. Okay, so <clears throat> okay, so the iPod has just finished restoring. Um, there's a little pop-up message showing you how to rearrange your home screen. Um, and there we are, Jailbroken 2.0 with Cydia. And that's pretty much it. That's how you jailbreak 2.0. Thanks for watching. Um, and uh, please subscribe, comment, or rate. And um, I really appreciate this. If you um, subscribe, or oh, if if you need if you want need anything, go ahead and PM me or just um, put it in the comments below. So thanks for watching and uh, see ya.